and welcome to Heidi's Fish Tank. I wanted to list for you guys today my top five favorite beginner fish for a nano saltwater tank. I think a lot of people are really intimidated by saltwater and the truth is it does not have to be that, that hard. In my Clownfish 101 video, I broke down kind of everything that you need for a very, very basic, basic saltwater tank very basic saltwater setup. Um, and I think that most people who do a saltwater tank start out with a nano tank because m nobody has the money to set up a 300 gallon pristine reef tank for their first saltwater tank, or at least typically. You wanna know that you can be successful before you go through all the effort. That being said, nano tanks are notorious for being a little bit more difficult to maintain a cycle in and a little bit more difficult to maintain parameters. So I wanted to list my top five favorite saltwater fish for beginners if you are starting out with a nano tank. So number five, I'm going to go with a clown goby. These things are super duper cool. Everything that I'm talking here probably could go as small as a 10 gallon tank, but I've even seen clown gobies in pico tanks. Generally, I don't think pico tanks are the best idea, especially for a beginner, but the thing that's nice about clown gobies is that they don't have a huge swimming room. They don't need a lot of swimming room because they do a lot of perching. They do have a lot of personality though. Um, I was scared of small fish because I was like, oh, they're not gonna be that interesting. But I think my clown goby, my yellow clown goby is actually one of my favorite fish in my tank. They're pretty peaceful and they're pretty easy fish. Um, and they have a relatively low bio load, so they can live in some pretty small tanks. My number four fish for a nano saltwater tank is gonna be a royal grama. Now, according to Live Aquaria, they do need 30 gallons, which is nano for saltwater, but might be a little bigger than a lot of people necessarily start out with. But I do think that Live Aquaria is a little bit more conservative than I tend to be. That being said, if you're just starting out, lean on the side of conservative, Maybe think about another fish for a smaller tank if you have a tank smaller than 30 gallons. But the thing that I love about them is they're not very big. They get three inches, so bigger than the um, yellow clown goby, but they add a lot of color to the tank. I really, really want one of these guys. They're peaceful and they are carnivorous. Um, they accept most aquarium foods, which is really great. Um, and I just, I think that they're really beautiful and add a lot of color to a tank. I think that they're a really, really good option. My number three favorite fish for a nano saltwater tank is going to be a firefish. I really want a firefish. And actually, I just won a, um, a nano peninsula tank from CJ's Aquariums. I will link him down below. Go check him out. But I'm very excited because it means that I'm probably going to be setting up a reef. And I've been wanting a firefish for quite some time. Um, so I definitely think that I want to get one of them, but they're super duper pretty and really, really interesting looking. I absolutely love them and they can live in small, as small of a tank as a 10 gallon tank. They're also peaceful and pretty affordable and you can also get them in the purple variety, which is also very, very beautiful. My number two favorite fish for a nano saltwater tank, I'm actually going to go with what most people will put as number one and that is the clownfish. Um, and the only reason that clownfish are not my number one favorite is because it does feel like everyone has a clownfish. But I do really, really like mine. I have Oscillaris clownfish. Um, I personally think that they could be okay in a 10 gallon tank. I have seen people put them in smaller tanks. Um, Live Aquaria recommends 30 gallons, but like I said, they're a little more conservative than I am. If you want to know more about clownfish, I did do a whole video talking about um, kind of clownfish 101. They're super cool because if you get a Hair, they can spawn in your tank. Um, if you do decide to do a coral or an anemone, they can host. And everyone wants Nemo in their tank, right? I think that most people get into saltwater because they want clownfish. And another cool thing about clownfish is because they are tank raised, they come in all kinds of really, really cool varieties. So you can get like a typical Ocellaris clownfish, which I think in and of itself is absolutely beautiful. Um, or you can get some really cool um, kind of selectively bred um, captive clownfish that get super duper beautiful. Um, and then my number one favorite nano saltwater fish is actually going to be a Bangai Cardinal. 
I just really like the look of them. They're honestly one of the reasons why I wanted to get saltwater in the first place. I think they're just really, really interesting. I love the stripes. I actually really like three or four striped damsels as well, but those guys are super aggressive. So I was able to get kind of like a cool striped looking fish, but still have it be at least semi-aggressive. Some places listed as peaceful, some places listed as semi-aggressive. I think that they are really, really cool looking fish. Now, despite the fact that they're kind of interesting looking, they do kind of stay in one place, which I think makes them great for a nano tank because they don't need a ton of swimming room. And another cool thing about Bengai Cardinals is that they are also, um, can be captive bred. So my guy is captive bred, which means that he's super easy. Now, when you're looking for one, look for one that is captive bred because they are kind of notorious for having a difficult time taking aquarium foods, but because mine was raised in a tank and has is used to taking aquarium foods, um, it's been taking flake food its whole life. It does eat other things because I also feed my tank frozen blood worms and brine shrimp and that kind of thing, but mine will accept most foods. So I think that it's really nice because you can get some pretty hearty cardinals and I think that they are super duper cool. I do want to do a really quick little shout out as well to my falco hawkfish. I think sometimes it's also called a Caribbean hawkfish. Um, they are so cool. Like I kind of picked one up on a whim and he's been in quarantine for about two weeks now so it's gonna be a little while before I add him to my main display tank. Um, but one thing that I did not expect to like so much about him is first off they perch on the rocks which I think is just really cool when you see little little fish kind of like perching. Um, they do need about 30 gallons and in my opinion I probably would keep it in a 30 gallon tank. It's in a 10 gallon tank right now because I have a 10 gallon quarantine but probably this one's a little bit bigger bodied. I would probably put it in like a 30 gallon. The thing that I like about them is that even though they kind of perch on the rocks, when they when you come up to the tank to feed them, he wags his little tail like a dog. Like he looks, he looks like a puppy dog the way that he moves around. So I really, really love my um, Falco or Falco, I might be pronouncing it wrong. Um, hawkfish and I wasn't expecting to like it that much. I actually went out looking for a long nose hawkfish and the store didn't have any so I ended up getting this guy. But quick shout out to that fish. I think it's a little underrated and I've never seen it anyone talk about them but I think that they've got quite the personality. So anyways those are my top five favorite nano fish for a saltwater tank for beginners. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite nano fish are um, for beginners. What you think is the easiest and if you haven't done salt water, let us know why not. And if you have done salt water, what was the first fish that you bought? Let us know in the comments. Um, if you're new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell next to the subscribe button, you will never miss a video. And I'm also going to link down below. I have a salt water playlist and a nano playlist. Um, I'll link down below all kinds of playlists too. So if you want some more resources, you can check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.